I was on the board of the founding of the State Museum, along with a fellow named Guy Liska. And when I walk through this place and I see what it is now, and I just, if Guy could be here now, he would be elated. The first work that was purchased was the flag painting. And it was one of my first flag paintings. Uh, and I got the kind of emphasis for the flag paintings because I went to the University of Georgia and driving through Georgia on a Confederate Memorial Day, they had all these flags flying. In South Carolina, they didn't do that. They had the flag atop the State House, which you didn't see it, it wasn't in your face, it was controversy, it wasn't in your face. And then the Confederate Reddick Room was here, and they bought one of my paintings very early, very early on. And I went to State uh, um, Reddick Room a lot with Watson there, and I'd see these old flags, dusty. They didn't have them cleaned up or anything. They looked just like they, you picked them out of a trunk. Just got, and I thought that here, folks are still celebrating this thing, and it's gone with the wind. It's an heirloom. And that, that's the reason why <laughs> Margaret Mitchell called her work Gone with the Wind. And so I started doing the flags that were heirlooms, these old flags that were deteriorating. And because I worked with wax and dyes, I could do that. I could use actual fabric and do that. And I think that um, the authenticity of the way it looked, for instance, in the flag that you have here, there's a gingham pattern back there. You can't see it unless you get up very close to it. But if you're looking at it, you see that there's this pattern that is much like from the era. And the flag is superimposed on that. I, the batik technique is something that I'd really developed. Because when I first began, people said, that's not painting, that's craft. But I mount it and I treat it as a painting. The flag itself, to me, shows how far we need to go and how far we've come. And so it is a kind of flex point and seeing the flag as it should be seen and not seeing it as an ideological symbol. I started using birds in my paintings because very early on growing up in a little town called St. Stephen's, 40 miles north of uh, Charleston, um, I had five brothers and sisters, half five brothers and sisters, thank goodness they're all living. And I remember we were in this, this little house and um, in the bed, I had a double bed and three or four of us slept in the same bed and they'd go to sleep and snow and throw their arms all over and I couldn't sleep and I'd look through a window, we had a four pane window up there and I'd see this bird flying. And I often wondered, what did the bird see? Yeah, the freedom that the bird had. And I'd get all this imaginary thing about this bird and so in that painting, I tried to suggest that, you know, that uh, era of being in, uh, in the, and flying above all of the stuff that's going on below, this kind of freedom. And the Mother Emanuel series meant so much to me because in Charleston, um, my, my uh, professor, Arthur Rose, was a member of Mother Emanuel. There are a lot of people at Mother Emanuel I knew. And, uh, and that shooting, really stuck with me. And I knew I had to do a painting, and I did this painting about uh, uh, Mother Emanuel using the flag, and it kind of all of the things that I was using, using that. By nine, that was, we had nine individuals. So I agreed to do that. And I standardized it, did it uh, 24 by 30, and I did nine paintings. And the paintings aren't sequential, they are just testimonials. But, you know, it was covered by ESPN, CBS, all these places covered it. And um, the, they got the Panthers to come down, Ron Rivera brought the team down to look at it. And then it was featured on Monday Night Football at a halftime. And uh, it, just, it just exploded after that. And it's been every place ever since. But it came here to the State Museum and it was the only place in the Middle East that it came. And it came to the State Museum a place that was there to me, so I shall never forget that.
tears has been watered. We have conquered the Oh, his car.